It's a bird. It's a plane. Hello, welcome inside the mine of Matt, and I'm back with bigger bullion. I made some changes, I got some improvements going on. If you want to see what I got going on, I'm gonna do some sand casting and some mountain of some aluminium. If you wanna see? Make sure you watch the rest of this video. Stay tuned. All right, it's Sunday. It's a pretty nice day out. A lot of activity. Not gonna do a lot of talking. Just gonna do some melting. But I did make some improvements overnight after a couple failures in yesterday's uh, pour. I learned a couple things. I had some things in the background waiting to be called upon, and the time is now. So I've brought them into play. I'll show you what they are. So let's go take a tour a couple of the tools and stuff that I've made to improve and then uh, the printed parts that I've made to improve and I'm just gonna ram up some sand melt some aluminium and we're gonna pour and see if we can get a better maker booyah I caught that it went right in my pocket all right so let's take a look and see what I got so first and foremost I got myself a new crucible I actually have two of them uh, this is a number four and then the other one I got was a number three which is a little smaller figured that way I had two if I wanted to do some other type of metals I, I'd have two different crucibles and I knew eventually that my fire extinguisher would eventually fail so I invested in one of these actually I got it really cheap but I do have a link down in the description if you're interested in buying one it is an affiliate link so it will help out the channel as well there's a bunch of links down there but anyways uh, I didn't want to use my my claws that I was using because they put pressure you know they bite on it and I didn't want I, I didn't want to crush this thing well it was all nice and hot so I did make a couple of tools I had some stock that I had purchased I bent up and did a little bit of welding and I got me a little little pick pick it out and then I set it in my pour. Got a nice little V rod on the end. Picks right up and I can pour. So at some point in the video you're gonna see maybe a little bit of fire happening from the bottom of this but what I'm gonna end up doing is putting a piece of cardboard in between here and this so when it comes out of there and hits that it's pretty much gonna set it on fire pretty quick. But that's just to act as a buffer so this thing doesn't stick to this. So something I saw in a video, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Little dramatic little flare is gonna happen, but I've got the 3D printed parts. This is the new one. Let me grab one of the other ones just for comparison. So that was what I yeah, it turned out to be the same size. What the heck? Are those the same? Oh, those are the ones that I already did. That's why. Dummy. Hang on. I just grabbed one of the other ones. Still. But here's the ones that I was tried to cast originally. So, as you see, I increased the dimensions a little bit. On the X, Y, and the Z. So, hopefully, larger, larger detail will yield a, a better result. So, anyways. I'm gonna get my Petro sand. I'm actually gonna do this box and that box over there. Anyways, gonna be a bunch of time lapse and a bunch of music. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and notifications on. Keep on coming back. You know all that stuff. But anyways, got these two. So uh, instead of trying to use the drill, got these little gates. I'm gonna try. Got airplane. enough distractions this I'm going to use to try to cut my gate and I'll, I'll do a pour basin and instead of trying to 
make a gate like I did on the other one to connecting all of them. I'm gonna make a pour spout and an exit gate for each one of them. So I'm gonna be pour, 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 pour. And hopefully that'll yield the best results. So enough explaining what I'm gonna do. Now let's do it. Now, this is the first time this has been uh, fired. I had it in the oven for about three hours at about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And for, yeah, like I said, three hours. That was last night, so I'm gonna just gonna slowly ramp up the temperature on this thing and then get it glowing and then add some metal. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, while I was ramming that sand up, this crucible has been in there and it should be pretty much cherry red right now. So I'm going to take a peek at it, see what it's looking like. Alright, so that's the first time that it had been heated up. Now I'm going to let it cool down for, well, say a half hour or so. And I'm going to come back out, fire it back up, and we're going to melt some aluminium. Real carefully. You can see metal. You can see metal. And metal. <clears throat> Still real hot, so we're gonna wait for it to cool off. But I at least got complete pour through. I didn't get any spillover, thanks to my new table. The 
tools that I made worked all right. I did have a, a little slippage once I tried to tip too far with the, the round pour, but it, it poured great. I had good control, it wasn't too heavy or anything. A little smaller of a crucible than I had before, but I'm just gonna let this cool and then I'm gonna shuck it, see what we got, clean one up, if it's good. So it turned out all three of them poured completely all the way through. Uh, I'm pretty actually happy with the, the way they turned out. So I've got to get them cleaned up, I'll buff one up, and then we'll conclude this video. Okay, so I got to cut off the sprues. Turned out my saw blade got dulled a little bit because I tried to cut some steel. I polished it up a little bit. And it's still not 100% perfect. But this time at least, you know, I narrowed down part of the problems that I was having. I got a good feed, good exit. Good feed, good exit on all three of them. So that was a little sand casting of some bigger bullion. This was, the, this was the first one I tried. So, anyways, I'm trying to do these for a special purpose, and it just happens to be with the guys at the end, or the people, I should say, at the end of this video listed with special thanks. I'm trying to make one for each one of them. So I've got, you know, 13 to make at this point. So once again, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, thank you if you have. Check out all the links I have down in the description for ways that you can save some money as well as help out the channel. Thanks everybody for stopping inside the Mind of Matt. Keep on coming back because there's going to be more. Happy printing and be safe pouring.